Supplier decapitation. Sorry, segmentation. Segmenting your suppliers means to break them into different groups. Now, there are many different ways we can or might want to do this. First of all, let's think about our stance towards our suppliers. Are they a transactional relationship or do we have a collaborative relationship? Formalising this helps to really think about how we might want to deal with them, the kind of soft touches we, um, in how we interact with them. We're going to cover a little bit more on transactional versus collaborative later. We could also separate our suppliers by contract duration. Do we offer very short or long-term contracts? This will link into other aspects of our relationship, but it's one of the most visible aspects. We can also segment our suppliers by the uh, sourcing configuration we have with them. Are they a single source supplier or do we have multiple sources, multiple suppliers supplying the same thing, setting up an element of competition but also uh, redundancy and safety? Whereas a single supplier implies a lot of trust, both to give them all your business, but also that hopefully they won't have any problems. Segmenting your suppliers by supplier value. This means to really think, what do we get from them? Sure, we pay them money and hopefully get some stuff, but maybe we work with them deeper. Maybe for their productivity, which hopefully they pass on in terms of cost, or we could really work with them in terms of innovation and strengthening our relationship and the ultimate end product, perhaps mutually designing a future generation of a product. Another few words often used when segmenting suppliers is to think of them in terms of their importance. We might categorise them as strategic suppliers, or you might hear preferred suppliers or tactical suppliers. Now, a strategic supplier would uh, you know, have aspects in all of the categories we've mentioned so far. Probably it's more collaborative, longer term. It could still be multiple source, but with a commitment to the long term. We're both interested in the productivity of them, but also the innovation for the next round of products. A strategic supplier. We might say a preferred supplier when the relationship might be quite transactional. There might be many to choose from, but we've picked this one. They are our preferred supplier. We might say this when approached by an alternative supplier. We say, well, we're open to alternatives, but we do have a preferred supplier. A tactical supplier, well, perhaps they're particularly good at one thing. You need, for example, a supplier with a super responsive lead time right now, and you choose them for a tactical reason in the short term. So, segmenting your suppliers. This means to look at them and evaluate them across many possible dimensions and ultimately you might make a very active effort to treat them differently accordingly.